Hi, my name is Carol Hart and I write children's books and today I'm going to read you this story. It's called Lunch on a Pirate Ship and it's written by me and illustrated by Christina Stevenson and it's published by Simon & Schuster. So thank you to Simon & Schuster for allowing us to read these books for story time. Here we go. There we are. One fine day, a little boy called Jack was playing with his toys in his yard out back. It was so much fun being out and about. He didn't even hear his mum call out. Look, there he is playing. That looks like fun. Lunch is ready, little Jack's mum cried. But when at last Jack came inside, he couldn't bear to eat his lunch. His chips were cold and his baked beans crunched. I can't eat this soggy old chip. I'd rather have lunch on a pirate ship. I'll sail with the crew far out to sea. They're bound to have lunch for a boy like me. So he skipped and he tripped to the bustling docks. And there was a pirate ship tied to the rocks. Ahoy there, lad, the pirates cried. Climb on board if you'd like a ride. I've come for lunch, said brave young Jack. I'd like to have a taste of a pirate snack. Of course, grinned the pirates. Try this dish. It's pickled cat, crab and rotten fish. Mm, that looks very nice. Rotten fish? Oh, yuck, Jack said. One bite of that and we drop down dead. Ah, said the captain, whatever shall we do? We need a big lunch for a pirate crew. And they do. So they splashed and they dashed through a thousand waves to a land where giants live in deep, dark caves. Oi, growled a giant. Hey, who goes there? Enter very carefully if you dare. The pirates inched closer. It's only us, they cried. We're here for some lunch, please. Can we come inside? All right, grinned the giant. You're just in time. Have a lovely bub jubbly bowl full of cold green slime. Mm, that doesn't look very nice, does it? Cold green slime, groaned Jack. No way. If we ate that glue, we'd be poorly all day. You're all right, sighed the giant. We need a tasty treat. I'd rather think a picnic would be very hard to beat. Then Jack sniffed a sweet aroma drifting through the wood. He spied a wisp of purple smoke that did smell good. So they all jumped up on the giant's huge back. There they are. I'd like to do that. And they raced and they chased down a shady track. I wonder where they're going. There in a field by a bubbling stream was a table filled with cupcakes, cherries and ice cream. Hooray, cried Jack. This lovely feast will do for a giant and a boy and a pirate crew. Oh, look. Yum. I'd like to eat that. Looks delicious, doesn't it? So they tripped and they trapped across a creaking bridge. There was pie in the oven and jelly in the fridge. Wow. Yummy. But a hungry troll had tricked them and jumped up. Boo! The tasty treat today, my friends, is all of you! Oh, no! Yikes! Help! cried the giant as he splashed across the stream. Help! cried the pirates, dropping their ice cream. Help! yelled Jack as they dashed along the track. They sprinted from the hungry troll and didn't look back. They dashed and they crashed past the deep dark caves. They bundled and they trundled in their ship across the waves. There they go, look. <laughs> the giant doesn't fit, does he? They sprinted up to Jack's house as quick as quick can be. Ah, there you are, said Jack's mum. You're just in time for tea. There's piping hot spaghetti topped with melted cheese. There's crunchy munchy carrots and teeny tiny peas. There's sticky apple doughnuts if you eat up all your greens and bowls of juicy strawberries with freshly whipped cream. Oh, yummy. 
That's a bit more like it, isn't it? They ate and they ate and they ate lots more. Then the giant cleared the plates while the pirates swept the floor. You know, said Jack, as they all sat down to rest, eating out is quite exciting. But mum's cooking tastes the best. There they all are. Jack's playing with his toys again, look. Hey, I wonder, look at that picture. I wonder, look, do you think that might be the troll from the story? I wonder who these people are. Do you think they were in the story? Let's have a look right at the very beginning again. Sometimes when you read a book, you don't see things the first time round, and then when you read it again, you can work out who everybody is. Look, here's Jack. What's he doing? Can you see what he's doing? He's making a pirate ship out of a box, isn't he? And here are his pirates. Look, he's got pirate hats on. Look, and who do you think this is in the story? I think maybe that's the giant. Do you? I do. And look, there's the cooker. We saw that, didn't we? The story too at the end when they had all their tasty treats let's see if we can find it there it is look on the back page so christina stevenson's been very clever in these pictures because what she's done is she's taken jack's imagination and turned them into a story and if you have a careful look at the illustrations look here's the giant and can you see what his cave is made out of made out of sheets and blankets that were in Jack's washing basket at the beginning of the story. So it's really good fun to have a really good look at the illustrations and try and guess what the illustrator, the person that did the pictures, was thinking when they did them. Well, I hope you like that story. We've got some activities for you as well. So we've got this one. So this one is all about a pirate. And what you do is you pretend that you're a pirate and you draw a picture of yourself in this space, the pirate picture, your pirate portrait. And then underneath you can write your story about why you became a pirate. So maybe you became a pirate because you wanted treasure or you wanted an adventure or maybe you know somebody else who's a pirate. So you could write that out on there and write your own story, which would be fun. And the other thing you can do is this pirate treasure map. Can you see I've drawn you a map here. I've got a few books with pirates in. There's a picture of them down here, look. And on this treasure map, there's all sorts of things for you to see. There's the Rocks of Doom. Um, what's that one? Piranha Lake. Ooh. Uh, the Deep Dark Caves. Smuggler's Cove. So you could colour that one in if you like. Or you could use that for inspiration and draw your own. So I've drawn you a blank page as well where you can draw your own um, pirate treasure island. And you can find those illustration, those activities on my website. It's carolhart.com. If you click on home and then go to things to do, you can find those there. Or if you click on books and find lunch on a pirate ship, you can also find the activities on that page too. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, keep reading, keep having fun, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.